up everybody, Thani here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be targeting Snook off the beach, which is loading up on bait right now. We're going to try to get at least a dozen or so pinfish or grunts. Um, typically they're about this size over here. It took me like 30 seconds to grab them. That's a good size right there. You make good bait. Alright, we just need like a dozen more of those and um, we're going to head on to the spot and hopefully get onto some Snook. Let's see what happens, man. I'm amped. He's not bait. He's illegal. We're gonna have to throw him back. Good size pinfish right here. They're all around that size. Man, makes me want to target gag grouper. Forget the snook, right? Snook's not even seasoned. But it's been a while since I've caught a really nice snook, so we're targeting snook, man. And I'm pumped because I know we're gonna get him. Another nice one. We'll take him. Quality bait, quality fish, guys. I'm a firm believer. Good size bait there, man. Quality, too easy. Good size bait right there. I'm totally kidding, man. This is illegal. We're gonna have to throw them back. This ray is a mangrove snapper, and they have to be 10 inches to keep. Come on, let go, buddy. Little guy. Man, he snaps though. You can feel the power of his jaws <laughs> when he snaps. Pretty cool. See ya. <laughs> Look at this cute little mangrove snapper. Little guy. There's so much fun to catch, man. Not this guy, but you know, a little bit bigger size mangrove. See you, buddy. All right, guys, we got about nine pinfish, and they're decent sized pinfish, too, man. So I'm feeling good about that. Whoa. We're just gonna tie up right now. I had on a lure, I was throwing a lure this morning, Purple Demon. Not a single bite, man, but we're, gonna, we're about to change that though with live bait. Can't go wrong with live bait. This is the hook we're gonna be using. That's a 5 aught trocar uh, circle hook. We're just gonna tie a regular clinch knot. I'm using 30 pound leader and 20 pound main line right now. For some reason they snap 30 pound. I'm gonna have to step it up to 40 pound. And I'm gonna bring that with me just in case, just so I don't have to walk back here. It's good for me. That's straight there. Trim off the tag end. And we are ready to rock and roll. Wait, before we start fishing, let me show you guys the combo I'm using for this snook fishing. This right here, this rod here is a, it's a 10 to 20 pound class. It's a Chris Green's custom rod. It's a really nice rod for fishing structure. It's kind of on a light, light side a little bit, but it'll get the job done. For the reel, I'm running 5,000 Shimano Sustain and 20 pound Andy, 30 pound leader. I just had that roller bearing replaced. I just got to throw it back like a week ago and it's it's quiet, man. It's quiet, I like it. All right, let's get to fishing. Oh man, that was a workout. I need to get back to the gym. It's been a while. It's been like, it's been like seven months. But um, anyways, we just got out here to the spot and uh, we're about to throw down the first bait and hopefully that first bait gets crushed, man. All right, here we go. First bait going down, man. Hopefully it gets smoked. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby, first one, let's go. It's not too big.
that. Nice one. Keep thumping, man. They love that pinfish. First fish of the day. We're just gonna have to release it now. You guys see that right there, the prey? We're gonna have to cut that off. Otherwise, if we hook onto another snook, we'll lose it. Guarantee, look at that, that's bad. I can probably just pull this and break and it'll break. After you land a snook, you always wanna check for your, uh, your prey before you throw on another bait. All right, we're gonna try throwing on another bait and hopefully we get a bigger one this time. All right, here we go, another bait. He spit that freaking pinfish. Damn. Bubble! Oh, he got me from the uh, pilot. Drop? Yeah. Lost that fish, man. 20 pound braid, 30 pound leader. It broke at the braid. He got me around the pilings back there and um, it just snapped instantly. We're just gonna call it, and I'm gonna come back out here the next day with a bigger rod. And we'll go on from there, man. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? We just got out here. It's like six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. I just loaded up on pinfish. We got about a dozen, and they're nice size pinfish too, man. We're about to head onto the uh, the snook spot and hopefully get onto some snook. We'll see what happens. One of the best um, bubble stones ever, right here, though. That's the size pinfish you've been getting, man. Really nice. All right, guys. We just got back out here. I stopped by um, my pinfish spot and got a few few nice size pinfish and, uh, and grunts. But uh, we're at the snook spot now, and hopefully they're chewing this morning, man. Let's see what happens. I'm pumped. Let's do it. All right, first one going down. Here we go. I'm soaking him near its tail. We're just freelining, guys. I brought my bigger rod with me today, so we shouldn't lose any fish. Might be, this might be 37. Look at that. Let's measure him real quick. Man, what a beast. Let's get a measurement real quick and then we gotta release it. He's probably 36, 37 right here. 36. 36? Yeah, that's a good one. Let's bring it down here.
That was not bad. 36 incher. All right, we're gonna throw another pinfish down there. Hopefully it gets whacked. Look at this, man. It's free. This is a uh, 80 pound. This is my grouper setup. I was not gonna lose the snook today. That's why I brought this combo. Cause I lost one yesterday and I didn't like that. <laughs> He wasn't hooked. He thumped it though, I felt that thump. I think they only feed on certain tides. Um, I've been getting them on the outgoing tide. So we're just gonna call it, man. The bite just completely stopped. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys know the deal. Hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.